We'll guide you through how to install the complementary shaders Unbound in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. These shaders look absolutely amazing and completely change the look of Minecraft, so let's go and get started. First of all, quit the game. Now what you need to do is go and open up a web browser, I'm using Google Chrome but you can use one of your choice. To go and run shaders we need something called Optifine, this is an optimization tool but it also allows you to run shaders. Go and search for it like so and go to optifine.net. Now all you need to do is go to the top and click on downloads and go and get the most recent version which has got a full release, this has got preview versions but I prefer to stick to full releases. Click on download like so, you'll be brought to an ad wall, just be aware these download buttons are for the ad, you need to wait for the skip button in the top right to go and get optifine which I can then go and click on. Then what you can do is go and click on download and optifine should start downloading. Now what you need to do is we need to go and get the complementary shaders unbound. So to do that we can go and type them in, complementary shaders unbound, just like so and go and search for them. And then what we can do is come to Curse Forge. this is where I like to go and get them from but there are other places as well. And what you can do is go and click on files and you can go and scroll down. What you want to do is go and get the most recent version as they go and support the older versions as well here as you can see. So we can go over to the right, click on the three dots and go and click on download file. Now go and wait as they will automatically start downloading. Now before we start the install process I want to give a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in the market for a Minecraft server definitely go and check them out. They've got so many awesome features like 24 7 servers and support, ultra latency, DDoS protection, one click mod packs, instant setup, automated backups, a powerful panel and so much more. They've got so many great features. At the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice so if you're interested I'll put a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. So now that we've downloaded what we need you can come out of your web browser and you want to open up the file explorer and come to your downloads. You can then drag what we downloaded onto your desktop like so. First of all we're going to install Optifine so go and double click on it like so. If Optifine doesn't go and open up like mine does there then what you need to do is go back to your web browser and we need to go and search for Java. Then you can come to java.com, download it and install it like any other app. Then you want to come back to Optifine, right click on it, hover over open with and you want to go and click on Java or you can click on choose another app, select it and click on always and it should then run. If it still doesn't you may need to do something called a jar fix. We've got a video on that and essentially it links jar and java files. What you can then do is go and click on install like so and you should then go and get the success message which is great and now what we need to do is open up Minecraft. So let's go and open up the launcher, go to the left of the play button to select the version and make sure Optifine is selected. Then go and click on play and it should go and begin. And then what you need to do is go and pause the game by pressing escape. Then go over to the left and go and click on options and you then need to go and click on video settings. And then you'll go and see the option for shaders, go and click there and you want to go and click on shaders folder in the bottom left. It will go and open up and then all you need to do is go and drag in the pack like so. So now that you've added it we can then go and close this folder like so and it will go and appear in this list here and what you can do is go and select it like so. I've now come full screen and as you can see these shaders look absolutely awesome, so much colour and it really does enhance the game. 